All right, welcome back to the show. I've got a friend of mine, Davis Hermes, local slackliner extraordinaire, just graduated from Battle Mountain just a few days ago. Davis, thanks for coming in. Yeah, of course. Is this early for you? Um, being a being a know, high school graduate now. I got I got first off this year, so it's a little early for me. It's about the time I show up to school. <laughs> You don't need to worry about that anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Now, next up, though, you're going to the college. You're going down to CU. You're going down to CU. I'm ready. I'm excited ready. for you. So let's talk about, we've chatted numerous times in the past about your, your abilities on the slack line. What is it? Let's first, what got you into slack lining? And then we'll talk about GoPro Mountain Games overall. But what got you started with it? What was it? Um, so I saw slack lining for the first time when I was 12 at GoPro Mountain Games. I didn't even see the actual competition. I just saw guys uh, warming up. Was there a competition when you at when you were twelve? There was a competition. Okay. Yeah. It must have been brand it, new there. Yeah, it was like the first or yeah, it must have been the first year it was there. But um, I saw them and I just had something in me tell me like I want to do that. So I begged my mom to split the cost of a line with me, and <laughs> thankfully she did. Uh, started training every day for. A year and a half after that. Is this that. you, by the way? Yes, yes. That's it. What are you Falls, thinking? Actually. What are you thinking there? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is weird to say, but this is like a pretty small line. If it's only like 60 feet long, usually high lines I've been doing more recently are a lot longer, a lot more exposed. So I was, I was feeling pretty, pretty comfortable. And so then let's go, let's go. Oh, here's some more. Let's mm -hmm. go this way. So. Obviously, there's different, there's different disciplines with slack lining. The trick lining, which takes place at Solaris, all the fun tricks and things. But then there's the long lines and the high lines, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the long lines and the high lines are what I'm starting to do more of. I am not trick lining as much as I used to, just because it's, it's a completely different aspect, as I was right. saying, just as a freestyle skiing versus racing or whatever. Um, but I'm just enjoying highlining a lot more, just the way it affect or I don't know pushes pushes your limits in a different way. And you don't have like crowds everywhere and loud music. No. Like you can focus, you can get into your own head and do your thing, and it's more tranquil yeah. and more solitude. Yeah, highlining a lot of the time we just go out with you know four people, sometimes more, but usually it's a pretty small crowd, and just go out, have fun, and session the line, you know. How do you get the rope speaker. across? There's a lot of different ways. I've seen uh, a drone do it okay. with paracord first, so you can tag the line across. Yeah. Some lines, like for example, that one that was shown up in Boulder, uh, there's a permanent tag line that we set up. Uh, don't don't tell anyone about that. I'm not that, saying anything. We're not. Uh, <laughs> you didn't hear that here. Um, but yeah, so usually you can just scramble down, crawl back up. There's not a specific way to do it. Just okay. Whatever you think is going to be the way, then go for it. And you feel completely comfortable on these things. You're tethered on these big ones, but it's like once you you find your spot, you're 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 in that zone, right? I mean, that's yeah, you're for good sure. With it. Um, that's definitely something I've learned over time to cope with a bit better. Because when I was 12 and started highlining, you know, I'd get on a line, and I'd I'd walk it still, but I'd be really tense. I'd freak out for sure, and go home and crash and just sleep for 12 hours and wake up, still be just so exhausted. But uh, yeah. the more you do it, you know, just like anything, you learn to handle it better. And so now in general, I'm pretty calm on lines, can breathe a lot better, keep myself pretty calm. So general. GoPro Mountain Games next week, are we going to see you at all doing some stuff on for demos or display? Mm -hmm. And we're going to get a chance to talk to you, right, maybe next week? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you'll Kay. definitely see me on the midline, which is that line over over the river just across from Solaris, pretty close to the trick lining yep. event. But uh, yeah, I'll be doing some of that in some exhibition stuff. Sweet, buddy. Yeah. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Congrats again. Davis Hermes, um, the youngest slack liner here at the GoPro Mountain Games ever, and I think he still is today. We have more of the show coming up. We're right back.